honeys welcome back so I'm outside as you guys can see I'm hanging out in my backyard I just found my watering can that I usually use to water my inside plants and I've been looking for it for such a long time and I finally found it I'm so excited to be honest with you I'm now using it as a prop for my camera but um, that's not actually why I'm here to talk to you right now I actually wanted to share with you a message that came through during my meditation not even seven minutes ago and it felt so powerful it felt so significant it felt very clear as day that this message is meant for you right now in this moment before I dive into it though I want to ask for the divine to give every single one of us immediate and instant clarity discernment as I'm saying that, I, I'm hearing the word control. This is our need to control outcomes, to understand what's happening around us so that we can feel safe within that. And I ask that in this moment, for the time being, that you just completely surrender control and take a deep breath and inhale divine grace, divine peace, love, unconditional love and support into every fiber of your being. So this message is very interesting. The over what what was what I heard was it's time to let go. It's it's time to let go. It is time to let go. And when I asked for further clarity and confirmation on what that means it again it's interesting because it has to do with our need to control outcomes there's something so beautiful so magnificent that I want to say that you might be blocking because I'm leaning into the realms of positivity right now but I feel that it's pretty if you take a step back you'll look that you are actively blocking this that it's confirmed that you've been blocking a blessing in your life because you're holding on to past trauma and expectations of hurt. For some of you guys, it might be as obvious as a feeling of resentment. And the word resentment is aligned with cooling. So the divine wants to cool that fire, that anger, that hurt, that rages within you, that gets triggered when people get close or when a person gets close or when an energy that represents the blessing that is meant to come into your life that is trying to come into your life that is ready to come into your life when it starts to show up you inflame think about how if you have like gastritis or something and you eat some food you know that you need to eat food to live but it's the it's certain things that inflame your body and irritate you and you might attribute eating the actual food with being sick and being feeling ill and feeling weak when it's not the 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 act of eating food, that's actually good. It's good to eat food that nourishes us, but it's what we're eating, it's what we chose to eat. And you you, you live, you learn when you live. And for someone here, there's somewhat, something that you're holding on to that is blocking the blessing, and it might be present now. Like, it feels, when I sat and I, I thought about this, it felt present, it felt in the moment. So you might be in a, in a current relationship, you might be, about to receive or have received a job opportunity or information or something is looming and there's this immediate desire of to inflame to get irritated you would almost think that it would be something that you're excited about like something that you've prayed for that you have set intention for that you've called out to the universe to the divine for but if you are trauma like if you have trauma if you're a product of trauma if you know what trauma looks like or if you're traumatized in some way it can be really easy to go to to, to revert back to a sense of self-protection and self-preservation but the divine is asking you right now please in this moment let it go choose to let it go I also get this really strong sense that for many of you guys this has a lot to do with relationships that they're the real person that it is that you're calling in cannot come through to you and cannot reach you in the inflamed stance that it is that you are taking right now. A person can only be patient for as long as they can. They can tolerate as much as they can before they feel like, before they start to believe within themselves that the, the blessing of the, the, the love or the relationship 
is not actually a blessing but something that they should walk away from and basically what this what what would make this happen is if that inflammation can't ever go away and I say this not to act as a threat because I don't feel like the divine is bringing this message as a threat it's 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 an a message of encouragement that in this moment you can trust in this moment you can trust in this moment it's going to feel really good to let your guard down and to trust what someone is saying for some of you guys you might have heard the same messages that I'm not going anywhere or your secret safe with me or you can trust me or I'm a safe place or I love you or this is yours or this is what I want for our future these are words that you might have heard before but from the wrong person the wrong situation wrong circumstances wrong timing and it set you up for failure so to hear that is everything that is that you want to hear but you might not necessarily be receptive to it or trust it because you're inflamed that part of you that area of your life is inflamed and again this is where the divine asks you to let it go that there are very good people on this earth there are very loving gentle supportive nurturing amazing people walking this earth and each one of them is like folded up within them they're folded up with really incredible gifts and talents and pieces of abundance that they are so willing and capable and ready to share with you are you open to trusting again and it may be a step-by-step -step process and baby steps and shuffling is so much better than you standing off standing still standing firm and never being open to the act of receiving love or this blessing or this abundance now or ever again the divine would rather see you shuffling forward, taking baby steps forward, again, instead of locking yourself up. It's time to let it go. I also heard that for someone here, your ability to let go, oh God, did you guys see that? I don't know what type of fly that was. It was like a horse fly though. <laughs> um, your ability to let go right now is going to be the breakthrough that is that you need with something that is that you've been learning, something that you've been taking on, tackling, there's a tightness, there's a sense of control, there's a sense of fear, and I think that you would be so, com I think you'd be so wildly like impressed and surprised by, especially once you get over the initial sh shock and fear that you will feel, how comfortable you will fall into a rhythm, into a motion, and literally soar. There's something about this moment, this situation, this, lesson this time that you are ready for this you are built for this you are effortless at this but you might have been thrown for a loop a few times in the past before and that is unfortunate sometimes it feels unforgivable it feels completely unnecessary not expected at all completely unexpected and that's why it stunned you. It's like getting the, the wind knocked out of your lungs and then being like, I am never going, to, I'm gonna try my best never to breathe again, but breathing is good. And I wanna tell you that for everyone, an easy effortless path, an easy and effortless path forward is not always the guarantee, but it's always worth at least right now, the divine is saying, at least right now, it's worth pursuing and opening yourself up to because the blessing that you will find in this moment is greater than the action of closing your energy off. I also wanna say that for someone who watched my latest video, this, is, this just came through for me just now. For someone who watched my latest video, um, the last one that I just uploaded, there was a message there for you and I want to tell you that spirit says that you really did receive that. Um, this is confirmation that the, the message, the information that you just heard, there was something about it that you, def you received. It, it changed, it pivoted, there was a shift. And this shift is permanent and it was impactful and it was meant for you. You knew that 
it's often that you hear messages that you that resonate with you that hit a chord within you but there was a, a this one was different because it changed it changed everything in that moment and there was this extra additional acknowledgement and encouragement and confirmation that you can believe the feeling that you felt when you heard that message and what you know life is going to look like after you've heard it. Um, I'm hearing like rest assured that your path, this placement, and you are in good hands. So thank you guys so much for being here. I always feel so grateful. The Leo new moon is coming. I'm, I just opened up the um, apothecary for custom Leo intention um, oils for the new moon and also I will be working on bird of paradise which brings in ease and joy and laughter and fun and self-expression and creativity and create did I say creativity so creativity twice fine um, energies as well as the nectar of life which is a candle that set it, when you burn it the intention is that you truly get to enjoy and savor this life and that life is good to you and pleasant to you and people are pleasant and nice and kind to you so those are the three things that are going to be on my radar tomorrow for the new moon happening in the sign of Leo I probably will not have a video up about the details of that I'm probably going to break it down in a blog post and put it on my website for those of you guys that are in need of that I just have been working on readings a lot lately it stresses my vocals and also spending some time talking to my friends on the side which those conversations can sometimes be an hour two hours long that's just how we vibe and it kind of wears my vocals down so for that reason I won't have a YouTube video up but Either way, thank you guys. I hope this message meant reach those who it was meant for, and I send you all of my love. Whether you're passing, it's been an honor, or if you are have always been here or you're new here, it's, it's an honor. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention and alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.